Moria SOS. Thousands of people who've risked their lives to escape war and persecution find themselves trapped in one of the biggest camps of Europe. Overcrowding and poor conditions of living have created an explosive situation inside the main camp and outside in the makeshift camp. The Doctors Without Borders raise concerns, making tragic allegations. What we witness in the latest weeks and months is uh, that the mental health situation is getting worse and worse, even for children. We had mental health group and uh, we witnessed that uh, at least a quarter of the minor uh, included in our mental health groups had uh, self-harm, uh, attend suicide or suicidal ideation. We are receiving uh, adult children, male or female, that have been uh, victims. They are survivors of sexual violence inside the camp or outside the camp that that's show a clear failure of the protection system. In the facility of the organization outside the Moria camp, they run a pediatrics and a mental health clinic. They accommodate more than 100 children per day. Marzia has been living inside the camps for five months. Her husband suffers from mental health problems. Her two sons have an aggressive behavior. We are worried because the winter is coming and we have our children in a small tent. We have no blankets at all. They are coughing and they get sick. And when we go to the doctor, they don't pay any attention. They just say, drink water. We need help right now. The organization says that Greece should urgently move children and other vulnerable migrants and refugees from Moria to the mainland or to other EU countries for the sake of their mental and physical health. The hardships they have been through in their countries of origin, the difficult journey to get to Lesbos and the awful conditions of living here were enough to scar these children forever. Doctors say that they will need serious treatment to be able one day to manage the bad pictures they have in their minds. Faye Dulgeri, Euronews, Moria. And Faye joins me now from the capital of Lesbos, Mytilene. Uh, Faye, thanks so much for being with us. Well, you're outside that camp. Can you tell us a little bit about the conditions there? Yes, the situation in Moria, which is actually one of the biggest refugee camps in Europe, is suffocating. Uh, the conditions uh, of living for the migrants get worse every day, as uh, there are now 9,000 migrants, which means three times that what the camp can accommodate, uh, and the numbers keep rising every day. The refugees and the migrants say that they have to wait for hours in queues to get their meals, that the sanitation conditions are not human, that the access to the medical services is limited. All this frustration uh, leads to violent incidents uh, that are usual now inside the main camp, outside in the makeshift camp, and even in the capital of the island, Mytilini. Uh, the governor of the region where the Moria camp uh, is based said it should be closed next month unless authorities uh, take the control of the situation. The government says that they are about to move uh, more than 2,000 people in the following days, otherwise it will be impossible to accommodate so many people. They say that if the overcrowding problem is not solved, uh, Moria Camp, uh, the problems of Moria Camp cannot be solved. Um, as far as the allegations from the, med from the Doctors Without Borders, speaking to Euronews, the authorities uh, reject them. They say that none of it is true. They admit, though, that the overcrowding has caused many problems and a difficult situation. Plus, the public prosecutor has been asked to investigate these allegations.